Hi, Scott Keffer here. How many of you have someone who's been a mentor or a model to you that's impacted your life tremendously? Well, one of those folks, if I made the list, one of those folks for me would be Zig Ziglar. And he passed away, if you probably heard, he passed away of pneumonia at age 86. And the world has lost a tremendous man, tremendous man. And he's made a huge difference in me uh, in terms of the books I've read from him, the tapes I've listened to, just the way he's changed my thinking and my attitude. Just a tremendous and a real authentic person. So if it's been a while since you read a Zig, um, you, may, you might want to go back, but I just want to recommend, you know, see it at the top is terrific, and there's a number of others. But uh, Forbes made a, a list of their top ten quotes, and I'm not sure they're all mine, but I thought I'd walk through them today because they're fun, because they're zig. Uh, number 10, remember that failure is an event, not a person. Hmm. So in life, right, have you failed at something? And just remember, you know, grab some gold mine, you know, gold nuggets from it. And I'll share with you how we do that, how we capture the gold from every failure and use it to help you make yourself better as a person and make sure you avoid it in the future. Number nine, you'll get, this is probably one of his most famous, you'll get all you want out of life uh, if you help enough people get what they want. And I, we really resonate that uh, resonate with that quote because that's about bringing value. Be a value person, a value-added person. Number eight, people often say motivation doesn't last, neither does bathing. That's why he said we recommend it daily. So take a bath every day <laughs> and also bathe your mind with some good things to read. Change your motivation. Number seven, another great one, because the world is full of critics. There's never been a statute erected to honor a critic. Think about that. So what are you not doing today in your life because you're afraid of being criticized? Number six, people don't buy for logical reasons, left brain. They buy for emotional reasons, right brain. And we'll talk uh, at one point about creating a symphony in your meetings, uh, a symphony between right brain and left brain. Absolutely critical if you want to really grow in this business. Uh, number five, expect the best prepare for the worst, and capitalize on what comes. Great advice in today's uncertain and changing world. Are you ready? So what can you capitalize on today? Number four, if you're looking for a friend, you're not going to find, you're going to find that they're scarce. If you go out to be a friend, you'll find them everywhere. That's great advice. Number three, a goal, think about this, a goal properly set, is halfway reached. We're going to talk about that more in an upcoming video. Number two, your attitude, not your aptitude, will determine your altitude. Hmm, how high you fly in these days? Think about it. Number one, if you can dream it, you can achieve it. So what are you dreaming? You know, the, the four areas that we talk to advisors about once they, they're, they're able to be in a place where they have income, independence, and um, influence is the impact, right? You have those three in order to drive bigger impact. And so what are you dreaming for your family? What are you dreaming for your friends? What are you dreaming for your clients? What are you dreaming for the causes that you care about deeply? Well. I'm going to miss Zig Ziglar. The world lost uh, a great man, a great fellow human being, and we'll miss him deeply. And I know one of the ways you can honor him, and he would be uh, immensely pleased by that, is that you continue to not only uh, follow uh, the advice that he gave, but share it with some others. Well, until we talk next time, um, be well.